Hello everyone! Welcome to today's video. If you can tell by the title, today is a collab with Amber. If you've never checked her out, please do. I'll have all of her information linked down below. She does so many fun videos. She does DIYs, how-tos, makeup reviews, cleaning videos, cooking videos. So I love watching her videos. They always give me a sense of satisfaction, especially her cleaning ones. <laughs> and then I am not so much of a very good cooker, so her cooking videos are really helpful to me as well. And everything she makes looks delicious. So I wanted to introduce you guys to her and I wanna let her introduce herself to you guys. So I'll go ahead and insert a little clip. Hey guys, I'm Amber from Housewife Glam Life. Elizabeth and I met on YouTube and then we just followed each other on Instagram and connected more even through that. I love watching all of her unboxings and reviews and tutorials and I love how she includes her daughter in some of the videos as well. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoy this collab. I would also love it if you would head over to my channel after this. I love to connect with new people on YouTube and I do things like makeup reviews, decluttering, I do home decorating and cleaning and organizing and all that kind of stuff. I hope that you guys will head over and subscribe after you are done watching Elizabeth's video. So in today's video we are talking about our five favorite masks. So when Amber said that maybe we could talk about our five favorite masks, I thought this was such a great idea. So thank you again, Amber, for collabing with me. If you guys are new here or you're from Amber's channel, hey, my name's Liz. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Also ring that notification bell so you guys are notified for all of my future videos. And if you guys want to see what my favorite masks are, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to talk about a couple masks that I absolutely love. They're from the same brand but they're from Glam Glow. Surprise, surprise. I really like them. Um, so this first one, this is the Gravity Mud. This is a super, super popular one from Glam Glow. This is just their little mini size. Um, oftentimes I will just get the smaller sizes. I feel like I don't go through masks very often, especially when they're in little pots like this. Um, it takes me a while to go through them. This is the Firming Treatment Mask. So I'm just gonna go ahead and read a little bit about this mask. It's a mud-based peel-off face mask designed to tighten the appearance of skin, a solution for loss of firmness and elasticity. So basically, it is a face tightening mask. I personally really, really like it, mostly because um, it's really cool. The cool thing is, is that when you put it on your face, it goes from white to silver. You end up looking like the Tin Man, um, but then you peel it off and I love peel off masks. So this is one of my favorite, basically just cause it's really, really fun. But I do like the way that it makes my skin feel after I use it. I'm always feeling soft and radiant and glowy. Another one from this brand, I don't have it because I finished it up and I haven't repurchased it yet. I really, really need to, but I'll go ahead and throw a picture of it right here. This is the Glam Glow Super Mud Mask. So it's a charcoal mask that you put on your face. It is used for solution for pores, acne and blemishes, and oiliness. So whenever I have really bad breakouts, right now I have some on my chin and along my jawline that are driving me insane. So what you can either use this to spot mask, basically, either put it over the acne that you have or you can do it all over your face. It's really up to you. And you leave it on there and it hardens. It gets like, it's like you put mud on your face and it hardens. And then I think about 20 minutes later, you go ahead and wash it off, but it clears my acne. So anytime that I put this on with a breakout and I'll use this a couple times a week, my acne has gone a whole lot faster than without me using it. So I really, really like that mask. Another mask that I really enjoy, and again, this is just my little sample size version of it. Um, this is the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. I think that I first, I got this one, um, I think in an Allure box, I believe. Um, and I really, really like this. So my skin is so dry. I'm dry all the time. I always have peeling skin, especially on my nose and on my forehead between my eyebrows and on my chin. So I feel like I'm always trying to moisturize. This one is really nice because I can put it on when I'm sleeping. So I'll put this on right before I go to bed. I wake up in the morning and my skin just feels so soft, so moisturized. I just feel like my skin looks so plump and hydrated after I use this. 
So I'll also use this a couple times a week. I'll just do my normal routine and instead of going in with like a heavy moisturizer, I'll go in with this. It is just a gel-like consistency as you can see. I used this small one a couple times and liked it so much that I went and purchased the big one. So this is when I go for traveling. I will take this one with me just to keep my skin nice and moisturized while I'm away. So another mask that I like, these are the Tony Moly masks. I love this brand especially their sheet masks. I just always feel after I use them that my skin always just, it just looks better <laughs> when I use this. I'll put one of these on, hop in the bath, soak in the bath for a little bit, um, and then take this off. This is specifically an aloe mask moisturizing sheet. Um, again, my skin is so dry that I need all the moisture that I can get. And these ones are really, really fun. They have other masks as well. You can get little like, animal masks and I've had those and put those on and my daughter thinks it's hilarious so um, I think they're really really fun. Any of Tony, Tony Moly's sheet masks I love. Um, there's a lot of different hydrating ones. This one specifically with aloe in it I really really like. I just feel like it really just sinks down into my skin and makes my skin really moisturized so I use sheet masks again maybe two or three times a week. I kind of try to change it up from doing you know my overnight mask one night and the next night I'll do a sheet mask something like that just to make sure that my skin is always hydrated and trying to keep those little flaky specks of skin off <laughs> so I really enjoy Tony Moly's masks the last mask the last the last mask that I really like these are the Wonder Beauty baggage claim gold eye masks they are gold, they look like this, and you just take them and place them right underneath your eyes. Um, I've used these several times. I think I got this, I got these in a subscription box that I had. I don't remember which one it was, but then I went and purchased more because I really liked them. So anytime that I'm just feeling like my eyes are puffy, or if I didn't get enough sleep the night before, I'll get dark circles under my eyes and so I'll throw these on while I'm doing my hair, getting ready for the day or getting ready to go out, whatever the case may be. And I'll leave these on while I'm doing my hair. That way when I'm ready to do my makeup, I'll take them off, throw my makeup on. And it just makes the it makes the puffiness and the dark circles go away. It makes my concealer look so much better underneath my eyes. I don't have as many dark circles to cover up and I'm not packing on the makeup underneath my eyes. So this is one that I would highly recommend if you have dark circles. And that is it. Those are my top five favorite masks of, as of right now. I think I wanna do something like this every, you know, couple times of year, just so that I can keep you up to date on the skincare items that I've been liking. If you think that's a good idea, or if you are interested in the other skincare items that I have, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I can do a night routine kind of video, what my, you know, favorite cleansing products are or serums, things like that. Just let me know in those comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, don't forget to check out Amber's video down below. I will link it for you guys and also subscribe to her channel and let her know that I sent you. And I'll see you next time. Bye.